Hey, Danny, a, a narrow defeat here against a, a side gunning for promotion. Um, a controversial goal to decide it as well from the penalty spot. How do you feel after that one? Uh, gutted, to be honest with you, Oli. I thought the boys were absolutely magnificent tonight. We've made some changes both on and off the pitch. And, you know, you're coming away from uh, Melbourne Park talking about a real, uh, uh, what shall I say, to try and not get myself in a bit of trouble, uh, a decision by the referee that's changed the course of the game, in my opinion. Did you have a view on it? Obviously, we haven't had a chance to look at it back. From up in the press box, it, it looked quite innocuous, didn't it? Look like there was it, much it, in it. It looked really soft, didn't it? You know, it looked a soft decision. Um, you know, it's the third time we've had this referee this season. Um, but yeah, it looked a soft penalty. But let's be positive tonight. Uh, very much, you know, Big Joe coming in for his debut at the back. I thought the back four were, were really good. Uh, the young lad we've signed on loan from Oxford United, he came on and I thought he had an impact as well. Uh, David Kamara was absolutely magnificent again. You know, we've really got to take these positive. You know, coming to a side of a fourth in the league, and as you say, gunning for a promotion, we've got to take the positives uh, and make sure we pick up some po- uh, points uh, at home. So, just just bit by bit, there's a few changes. Obviously, Josh Johnson, as you said, coming in looked good coming off the bench. Uh, Joey Lowell as, as well, um, making his first start today. But is that the first signs, especially in the second half there, where things were coming together a little bit more than they have perhaps in recent weeks and, and showed some good signs there without creating too much clear cut? But are those the first building blocks do you see over these next few weeks? Yeah, listen, we're now training on a Tuesday and Thursday morning. Obviously, that affects some people both on and off the pitch. But it's going to take a, a you know a tad of time. But there's enough. Uh, Positives from tonight uh, against a side like Chelmsford uh, for us to, to, to look onwards, upwards, and forwards. I mean, have you set yourself any targets over these? Because obviously, as the games go down, you know that that gives less less points to, to get on the board. Uh, have you set yourself a target for amount of wins, amount of points that we need to do to make sure that that we can stay up, or is it very much just a case of taking each game as it comes? Obviously, you know, I think we just have to worry about the next game. Then the next game, people got carried away with targets. If you were making the targets, come to a side fourth in the league on a cold Monday evening, uh, you perhaps wouldn't have uh, given yourself much of an opportunity. But I felt we were more than matched them. I felt in the second half we were the best side and uh, it's disappointing but very much onwards upwards and forwards we train hard on Thursday morning then we travel to Hemel on uh, uh, Saturday uh, then it's Hampton uh, next Tuesday then it's Taunton at home it's really rocking and rolling but there was plenty of positives this evening for us to be encouraged we know there's been a couple of changes off the pitch as far as the coaching staff goes over the last couple of weeks what can you tell us about about those changes and how we've um, how we've had a look at how to fix those yeah well obviously my assistant manager Ben Austin he's uh, departed uh, so he can't do the Tuesday and Thursday morning Nick Arnold's departed as well and I let's make this categorically clear I asked Gary Fury to be my new assistant manager he's coming in to help out Gary's you know I've had a fantastic relationship with Gary from the first moment I met him uh, Joe Yule's now a player coach Teddy Bloor he's had to step up as well Reese was with us tonight it's all hands to the pump and that, let's hope that's the best for one United Football Club back on the road again on Saturday Hemel Hempstead Town Again, is there? Is it just about keeping our heads up, staying positive, and taking what we saw a little bit today into that, and and, and hoping to to start getting some points on the hundred percent, very much so, Wally. We go to Hemel uh, encouraged, and we know it's a tough game. It's a four G pitch, so be no excuses about the pitch, uh, and it's a game we're looking forward to. Just finally, as well, just there was a sub at half time. Costly Lima was was swapped off for uh, for, for Jack Birchall. Uh, was that tactical? Was that an injury? No, he's feeling his back a little bit, and uh, obviously it was good. You know, Birch played right back for me before so it was nice to get Birch and I thought he did well so uh, yeah it's a squad game isn't it cheers Danny cheers boys